What is up guys, Hyperball here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be a discussion video. Um, Goku versus Vegeta. It's been a long question for a lot of fans. Uh, I feel like a lot of people always say, oh, Goku's going to win, or Vegeta won. But, I feel like a lot of people also bring up the two, the, the two fights that Goku and Vegeta had, which were the first one, the Saiyan Saga, and the second one, the Buu Saga. I mean, they sparred in, like, uh, Super now, but, like, they spar in the Time Chamber, and they spar on Whis uh, Beerus' planet. So, yeah. But, what a lot of people always say is that Goku's got Ultra Instinct. Vegeta can't hit him. Does Vegeta really need to hit him, though? Because, like, Vegeta's got Spear Fission. So, punches Goku, like, boom. He can sap energy out of Goku, like more did to Goku. So as long as Vegeta's got that technique, he can really do some damage on Goku. But at the same time, Goku has already seen that, so he won't be like caught off guard, and he'll like try to like end the battle quickly. But also, Goku has Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, so Goku can get into Ultra Instinct at will now. Thanks to the helpful, uh, helpful training of Mirrors. I sh uh, I'm going to try to edit in the beginning of the video saying, hey, spoiler alert, because I'm going to talk about the manga too. But like, well, yeah, I'm going to talk about the uh, manga. So, if you haven't already, read the manga. Stop, pause this video, read the manga, or watch someone else uh, read the manga. But without further ado... Let's get on. But, okay, so Vegeta's got his spear fission. Okay, Goku's got Ultra Instinct. The pros and cons of Ultra Instinct is that, Goku, yeah, Goku does have full mastery of Ultra Instinct. But it's the first stage of Ultra Instinct. So he doesn't really, like, have a full control of Ultra Instinct, is what we kind of said. Like, he hasn't really fully mastered it. Because, like, we the angels... They, they use Ultra Instinct as their, their base, pretty much. Like, they're always in Ultra Instinct. They were pretty much born like that. Goku has to master it first, then try to get used to it uh, being his base. So, Goku has his base, but he's trying to put, master, he's trying to put Ultra Instinct. Which, it, I'm pretty sure I hear a lot of people say that Ultra Instinct is a technique. Uh not really like a transformation it's a technique so like it's fine um uh, and a lot of people oh, a lot of people also say that oh couldn't goku like put kaioken on it and a lot of people always backlash saying no he couldn't because ultra instincts is a technique kaioken's also a technique so he couldn't really stack those two together but jesus got super saiyan blue evolution which is uh in the anime, they said it was on par with um, Goku's blue Kaioken times 20. So it's about 20 multiplier, or twenty times multiplier on top of blue's uh, power. So I think that's a really neat concept. And uh, like a lot of people say, Super is like the show telling you, hey, Goku and Vegeta are on par. And they're rivalry, like... Like, here's Goku, here's Vegeta, then it's, like, fluctuate, like, all throughout the series. And I kind of like that, uh, because, like, Dragon Ball Z, uh, you s just see Goku, like, okay, so he's lower than Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga. So this is Goku, kind of, like, just goes zoom, and then, like, gets a hard virus, so it goes down. But then he goes, zoom, up, and Vegeta kind of stays on, like, a linear path. Like, he doesn't give up on training, but at the same time, he kind of does, just because after the Cell Saga, good, like, okay, let's start at the beginning, Saiyan Saga, Goku versus Vegeta, the first fight they ever had was, uh, when Goku got done with King Kai's planet, or well, he had that whole, I think a lot of people say it's 157 days, is how much Goku, I think, had time to train, with King Kai, it's either that or that's how long it took him to snake away. 
Not too sure, but he had less than a year to train with King Kai or more than a year. Uh, yeah, less than a year to train with King Kai. Otherwise, other than the less. But, yeah, but their first fight, Goku was on top most of the fight just because Kyle Ken. And then Vegeta turned to Zara, which Goku, I say the least, lost because he had he had the help of his friends helping him with that fight. But if he never did, he would have definitely lost and died, and the earth would have been blown up. But thankfully, he had his friend. Spear bomb came in clutch, hit Vegeta with it. Yajirobe came out with a nice slice of Rooney, slicing Vegeta's back, slicing tail off. And Gohan with the real MVP taking on Vegeta while Goku and Krillin kind of discuss, hey, take the spirit bomb, throw it at Vegeta. Until Krillin misses, hits Gohan, and yeah, that's Vegeta. Then, so the Saiyan Saga happens, Namek Saga, Vegeta's still in the lead because he recovered faster. He's out of the, uh, he's, uh, uh, he's out of the chamber faster. So he sealed up, went to Namek. Goku was also doing some training behind the scenes uh, with the gravity room, uh, going 100 times gravity. So he was doing that. Um, but after the Namek saga, Goku was already Super Saiyan and Vegeta's pretty much out of the water. Because Vegeta didn't have Super Saiyan yet until the Android saga when um, the androids show up. That's a lot of people say that's when Vegeta passed Goku, which I'm I, I'm part of that group because Goku's in bed. You gotta think Goku's in bed. He's not really doing any training while he's in bed. He's not, like, he's not, not he's not improving, but he's also not degrading. So like, well, all Goku's in bed. Vegeta's going higher, 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 but. Then Goku wakes up. Vegeta has just lost to Android 18. Broke both of his arms. And now Vegeta's kind of just like. Now Goku gets out of the, out of the bed. Out of the heart virus. And uh, and now Goku's all happy. Because he's like. Yes I'm out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the heart virus. Uh, he's not in bed anymore. Uh, but then his first thing is, hey, let's try and improve Super Saiyan 1. That's what they do. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks go in first. Goku and Gohan go in second. And who comes out stronger? Go Gohan and Goku. Uh, but Goku, half, half of his power of like mastered Super Saiyan, half of the power... He's way stronger than Super Vegeta. Like, way stronger. Like, a lot of people are like... I mean, if people want to debunk this, you can go for it. But, Goku, at half strength, was way stronger than Super Vegeta when he fought an Imperfect Cell. And Full Power Goku was way stronger than Super Vegeta at the end of the Cell arc. So, you could say... Oh, you can say Vegeta was stronger, but there are certain times where Goku is absolutely the strongest out of the two. But, Gohan was stronger than both of them. Like, if Goku and Vegeta double team Gohan, Gohan would probably lose, but Gohan also had Super Saiyan 2, but he didn't unlock it until during the Cell fight. Like, yeah, Gohan accessed it Super Saiyan 2 for a little bit in the time chamber in the anime. I don't. F well, I haven't read the manga, uh, Dragon Ball Z. So it could have happened in uh, the time chamber 2. I mean, the manga 2. So, it's whatever. But, yeah. Uh, and then we get to the Boo arc. Goku's been dead for 7 years. Vegeta hasn't really done a lot of training, but he hasn't slacked off uh, like Gohan. So we get in the cell, uh, Boo arc. Goku is probably way stronger than Vegeta. Not by a whole lot, but you can tell that he's stronger than Vegeta. 
Uh, and then the second fight that the second fight uh, in the Boo arc uh, between Goku and Vegeta, Vegeta actually pretty much uh, like pretty much knocks Goku out while he's defenseless and turns his back away. So I think that was a night touch, but uh, so Goku's unconscious. Vegeta, as a character, like I feel like a lot of people like Vegeta just because of like, how he is, and like oh he's badass and oh he's he's really good, but Vegeta is also really powerful. Like between Goku and Vegeta, I feel like Goku would win in a fight. I know. Okay, so I'll explain the Boo Saga. Uh, I'll take her. I, uh, Goku and the Boo Saga. So Super Saiyan 3, he has Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan, Master Super Saiyan. Uh, Super Saiyan 2, uh, like Goku said, like a lot of people will say, uh, Goku, uh, was holding back in the fight just because he only needed to be as strong as he needed to be. So Vegeta... Thought they were rivals or equal, so that's why like you can say, "Oh, Goku uh, was losing that fight." Well, Goku was just trying to let Vegeta say he's power uh, overpowering Goku, but Goku at Super Saiyan three, he still had a little bit more power he could let out during that fight. But then Dragon Ball Super. Goku gets Super Saiyan God, then Vegeta gets Super Saiyan God, training under Whis for six months, then they both get Super Saiyan Blue, tournament, uh, tournaments of destroyers happen, Vegeta loses to Hit, Goku, uh, well, he doesn't really win against Hit, but he adds Kaioken times 10 on to his Super Saiyan Blue, so that brings him up like 10 times over Vegeta, uh, and I feel like in the manga, Vegeta, uh, Vegeta fights Beerus three times. Oh, uh, sorry. The first time is Battle Gods. Second time is during the Universe Six Saga, and then the third time is oh during the I think it's after the Moro Mo 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 Moro Moro arc. Yeah, because that's when. Oh, and Vegeta's also learning how to do the Hakai, which is a destroyer technique, but that's only in the manga. Goku also has used the Hakai in the manga, and he had more effectiveness with it, you know. But not really, because Zamasu brought Mai into the fight, brought her in, saying, hey, 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 if you destroy me, you'll destroy her too. So that's when Goku stops, kicks him out of the fight, but... I believe Goku would win just because of Ultra Instinct. He could dodge all the punches, attack, and uh, hit Go uh, hit Vegeta with some really good hits. But I'm not I'm not saying Vegeta would, wouldn't give out without a fight. I feel like it would be a close one, but I feel like Goku would come on top just because of Ultra Instinct. Uh, maybe like uh, like maybe Goku could have Ultra Instinct, but he still has. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken type saying I mean, catch 20, you know. But, oh, and they also perfected uh, Super Saiyan Blue in the ma manga. I don't know about the, uh, the anime. I think so, but I'm not too sure. But, yeah, I feel like Goku would win. But let me know in the comments down below, who do you think would win? If you like this kind of video, I, 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 I feel like I could talk for hours about some stuff. Uh, but if you guys like this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. This has been Hyperballer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.